You'll lose most of your money if you cancel your holiday with us. I recently had a holiday booked to Mexico which at the time of booking. Early 2020. It came to around £2,200 for two people for two weeks. We felt pretty fortunate to have been able to get that at that sort of price. Anyway. Covid happened and as you can imagine. The holiday we booked with Tui. British holiday, travel agent. Was postponed. Feeling a little anxious to go abroad even when restrictions were lifted. My partner and I decided we wanted to cancel and rebook at another time. Truth be told. We could have also benefited quite a lot with having some of that money back. I called them to cancel after a rather lengthy hold to get through to them to be told, sorry. If you want to cancel, you will lose £2,100 of the £2,200 that you paid. However, you can make a free of charge amendment and you or we will pay the difference. So if your new holiday is cheaper, we will refund the difference. Okay. Let me speak with my partner and see what we want to do. Malicious compliance begins. I have no interest in postponing my holiday so I browse their other destinations on the website. I phone back the next day. Me. Hi. I'd like to make an amendment to my booking please. Tui. Sure no problem. Do you have a destination in mind? Me. Yes. I've found this rather appealing location in the Canary Islands which also happens to be your cheapest holiday. Oh and I want to amend it from two weeks to your minimum stay. Tui. Okay. So you'll get a refund of £1,750 and your holiday has now been amended. After receiving my refund a few days later, I call them and tell them I wish to cancel my new crappy cheap holiday. At this point I have lost about half of what the crappy cheap holiday would have cost. Instead of losing £2,100, I only ended up losing £280. Granted, it's still not ideal to have lost out on £280. But it sure it is better than losing most of what I paid. TLDR. Wanted to cancel a holiday which would have meant I would lose most of what I paid. I took a different approach which saw me claw back most of what I paid for it. Edit. To those saying about chargeback. I didn't purchase the holiday on a credit card. I used a debit card. Chargeback wouldn't have worked as the money belonged to me. Not the bank. Edit 2. For those saying this isn't MC. If their policies were designed to make things easier for the customer. They wouldn't have made the refund process so difficult. I would say this is MC as I was using a loophole in their policies to ensure the best result for me. Edit 3. Well tits. I didn't know you could do chargebacks on debit card. Thank you for educating my smooth brain. Genius. I've heard a similar situation before. Somebody wanted to cancel their booking but it was too close to the date. It had to be over a couple months away to be free. So couldn't without losing a lot of pound. But changing the dates to other available dates was free. Change dates for free to a couple months away and then cancelled. However, you can make a free of charge amendment and you or we will pay the difference. So if your new holiday is cheaper. We will refund the difference. Sounds like the person you were talking to wanted to help you out. Thanks for being a smart consumer and not letting predatory businesses take advantage of you. Some would say paying anything is too much. But I think you got out of that at a reasonable price given the circumstances. Sorry about your vacation. Weird the COVID clause didn't affect it. Cancelling because of a pandemic should be sufficient. This is why I always use a credit card to book holidays. Section 75 protection is so useful. I had a couple of airlines try to pull the small admin fee and refund everything except the 
deposit. Well guess what my credit card paid me back the lot. This is also the way to deal with hotel reservations. For many, if you cancel within X days, you lose your money. But it's no charge to change the date of the reservation to a date outside the no refund window. Then, you can just cancel the new reservation and get your money back. Ah, I hate how some businesses responded to COVID. I am a Patreon subscriber for a podcast that occasionally does live tours. And I had purchased two tickets to one said show that would have been May 2021. Obviously, they cancelled all live shows. So I tried cancelling the tickets. But they refused to give me a refund BC the theater hadn't contacted them. I tried talking to them and treated me like I was stupid. You didn't purchase your tickets through Patreon. That doesn't have any bearing on the tickets. But they are the act one was going to see. You know why the theater hadn't cancelled the show? The theater was closed indefinitely due to COVID. Face with rolling eyes. Icing. I had purchased ticket insurance. But they didn't let me use it. Interestingly. When I purchased tickets for the rescheduled post-COVID tour. There was a different vendor. I actually lucked out. I tried contacting an airline to cancel tickets for December last year. Got an automated email basically saying, due to COVID, our offices are not attended. We will get back to you as soon as possible, as I had been canceling bookings. This didn't fly. Literally. Contacted my bank. They agreed I was to get my refund. So they did through their bank. I was happy. Last week. The airline refunded my money again. So I was happier. Other cancellations. A local airline said that the flight was still going ahead. If I wasn't there, it would be treated as a no-show, and I'd get a partial refund. Bank refunded fully. A hotel had a stupid policy. Can't cancel within 250 days. WTF? So they agreed to rebook it for the next year. 400 plus days ahead. And I cancelled it then for a full refund. Nice malicious compliance. By the way, TUI is actually German. I personally aim to never book with TUI again. My holiday was within 14 days cancellation period. And then holidays needed to be cancelled, postponed due to flights being stopped and borders being shut. It took so long to get to the unfortunate timing as their main phone line for disability. Service and customer support was very slow and hampered the TUI store I visited even trying to ensure my safety etc. So 14 day cancellation. Ring the store and the lovely manager says sure we will do so. Legally in the right after all. But then before they get chance no one's allowed in the offices etc. UK. So here we go down the rabbit hole. TUI refused to pay. They only offered a new holiday or I would lose out on all my money. So yes at the start they tried this tactic and I stood firm. And got pretty pissed. And then silence when I said I was within my cancellation period. Both for the store and remote phonings. This radio silence was for phone calls. Emails. Even the company responsible for TUI. So I knew exactly what to do. I got the bank involved. Big red bank that peeps will be familiar with and Visa. I sent a huge envelope of proof. The contract. The printed emails of their BS. And I waited. Well I got all of the money from my bank and was told that the bank would handle the dispute with TUI. When it was over a year before TUI sent official paperwork that recognized my holiday had been cancelled and refund returned to the bank. I understand the difficulties of going to WFH, of COVID, of money flow. But damn don't try to screw me out of my contract. I just wanted to mention I went to Mexico about two weeks ago. They have a national mandate to wear masks. 
even the street hustlers on the beach selling hats, shirts, souvenirs etc. were wearing masks all day. Walking up and down the beach in 90 plus degree weather. They are way better about wearing masks than we are here in Texas, USA. This is what chargeback is for. I'm surprised you didn't get a refund. We were booked on a cruise on TUI's cruise company. And they did refunds for all cruises which could not go ahead. The other thing you could have done was rebook the same holiday for the same time next year. Or the year after. So as to save the £280 and keep the holiday. But that did probably get you the cash much faster. Which is a pretty good upside. Ha <laughs> ha. So. Back in the late 70s and early 80s. Travel agents in Tucson and Foexix did a fine business on, raid on Mazatlan, tours for University of Arizona, Arizona State University students. They ran about $600, including a coach ticket on the Ferrocarril del Pacifico's El Costino passenger train round trip. Like three or four days motels, meals, etc. So. Sleeper berths on the same train were about $25 round trip. Good motels were easily $15 to $20 a night if that. The peso was trading at about $1100 to $1 at the time. Good meals in Mexico were dirt cheap. For about $150 these kids could have lived life so much better than these idiotic tours. Which sold out. Worse. These future leaders brought their own beer. Bud Light. By the cooler. Never mind that the dining car sold top quality Trace Equis. Pacifico Clara. Etc. For a few cents a bottle. I rode with these kids once just part of the way to Gaimas. And watched them get stone drunk on bad beer on the way down. The hanging out the door throwing upon the way back. Sort of like taking Chef Boy ARD noodles on a trip to Italy. I booked a trip which I had to cancel because of COVID. The travel company wanted to give me a voucher and wouldn't budge when I asked for a refund. Went back and forth with them for a bit without success and then went to NSW Fair Trading. Took a few weeks but after they got involved. The travel company suddenly apologized for, taking so long to reply to my enquiry, and offered a refund less 10%, unrecoverable costs. Which I took. Consumer protection is quite strong in Australia though. Total cost was about 1,500 Australian dollars. But it was more the principle of the thing that pissed me off. Pro tip. These government agencies have online forms you fill out to detail your complaint and if you organize it properly, it's much easier for them to deal with the matter. The guy who rang me complimented me on my submission. I had a summary detailing the nature of my complaint and the remedy I was seeking. A timeline of the case and annotated attachments including receipts, emails etc. Working the system. I'm sorry but this sounds dodgy. TUI is ATOL protected and they offered a free full refund on any holidays cancelled or postponed. Because of COVID. No fees at all. The first cases in Mexico were reported early 2020 and by April, May it would have been locked down. But if your holiday was postponed because of COVID you could have gotten a full refund within 14 days. The price difference refund is a thing they do however. HTTPS slash slash www.tui.co.uk slash destinations slash info slash coronavirus. Just because someone goes to the Canaries doesn't mean it's a cheap crappy holiday. Whenever my wife and I travel where we anticipate spending more than a few hundred dollars. We always get traveler's insurance. We went to Ireland for our honeymoon and had a domestic connection via JetBlue on the way back. 
There was a bad storm that held up the aircraft Delta was using to go from Dublin to JFK. And after two hours, our time allotment for connection was looking dicey. We tried changing flights, but there was no availability and switching to the next day had fees on JetBlue. After some frantic research, we found a flight via Aer Lingus direct to the big airport nearest us. We bought tickets raced through security, then called Delta and JetBlue, and watched our departure get delayed. Delta refunded our tickets same day. JetBlue fed us some bullshit about cancellation fees of $150. And how what was left, $50, would only be refunded as credit. It took over an hour for JetBlue to feed us that line. So we just didn't show for the flight. Called insurance. They paid out the ticket prices from JetBlue. No fuss. Just had to submit the original ticket receipt and a receipt showing we paid for a different flight. When we didn't have a receipt, they accepted the boarding passes. Incredibly easy. Payout took like a week or so from claim submission. Highly recommend. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like share, and subscribe.